Okay. Um, the catapult came a long way from black metal back in 1998 to, well, progressive metal in 2012. How do you look on that progress? Well, I, I don't think... I, I don't like to, to call to call Dyke of Folk a, a progressive band. I, I don't like the, the term because, you know, when you say progressive metal, I always think of gym theater and mm -hmm. and and bands like that. And well, I cannot play the instrument at all, so it just I, I'm very awkward with instruments, and I, it just it feels a bit a bit a bit strange, and it's it's it feels not right to call it progressive metal because it is I think it is not. It's just experimental at mm -hmm. the best or something like this, but, but we are not, not a progressive metal band. We, we have our, or I, I we, we had our, our black metal roots, and I, I like black metal, and I think it will stay with, with a band forever, that the roots, the, the atmosphere or the, or the attitude. Mm -hmm. But I just think that I feel more, now I feel more, more free, and I enjoy doing whatever I want. In the beginning, we, we wanted to be a, a black metal band, a really an epic black metal band and and stuff. But as as time passed, I felt that I I, I really can do whatever I want, and I don't like borders and boundaries. So I decided just to not to not to walk the the path that is that had been trodden before. So I just do whatever I want, and it's I, I really much enjoyed it. So it's it's fine with me. Mm -hmm. You had um, I think it takes some guest musicians. Yeah. How was it to work with them? Uh, we, yeah, I worked with Attila, who I mentioned before, Attila mm -hmm. Bakos. Uh, I had been working with him on the previous recording as well. Mm -hmm. And he was the singer there as well. And he's a very, very flexible and a very talented and a very good singer. And a good guy. And I like him. And we... We can work very, very well uh, online through the internet. We, we do everything through the internet, and we use the internet. And I just send them, send the guests uh, to Attila and Agnes. I send uh, the lyrics and the vocal lines I found out, and the, and the music. And they they do it at home. They do their parts at home, record their vocal parts, and and uh, have their own ideas. which is very important. And I didn't. Then they they send them back, and I work with them. And this is how it works. Unfortunately, uh, Attila won't appear on the next recording because he decided to focus on the next recording of his next recording of his own projects. So he he just won't won't uh, appear next time. But Agnes will will come back, I think. But I don't know yet. How, how the next one turns out. But we do everything online. It's just, mm -hmm. just because I'm in Scotland, you know, and they are in Hungary. So there's no, no way of, of getting together and recording everything together. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes in your songs you have some strange sounds. What is the reason for it? What do you mean, strange sounds? <clears throat> I mean, on the, for instance, on this one, yep. I guess third or the fourth track, there's something at the beginning of it which reminded me of, sorry for saying it, of some old Nintendo games or Sega Mega Drive games, you know, at the beginning when the game starts and you hear this... Uh, you mean the third track? Yes. Yeah, I've read it in the review. Uh, well, I cannot really comment on that because I've never played of those things. Mm. So, <laughs> I don't know, it. I never, never thought about this. When I, when I created that sound, it's just uh, it's just um, something coming from my synth. Mm -hmm. So there's no nothing like like uh, like a computer game or anything. I never thought about it. So perhaps it's, it's, it's that that's it for you. But that that's that's a nice nice thing because I, it, every people thinks differently about these sounds. So I don't know. It, it was not not an intention to mm -hmm. to to use something resembling to computer games. Well, it was the closest thing that reminded me of. All right, all right, that's fine. Uh, I've, I've never thought about it myself, but it's it's, it's okay if, if some, somebody has different thoughts. Mm -hmm. And I also 
Uh, so I think the, in some of your older records that you have some kind of strange sounds sometimes. Uh, well, I just use the use the technology. I use different sounds. I use I use the atmospheres and moods, and I just I'm not afraid of experimenting and putting things into music that are not common. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I don't like boundaries, so I, I can do whatever I want, and mm-hmm. I enjoy it. Do you have any plans for the near future of your band that you would like to share? Uh, I, well, I'm working on the next recording, and that's my plan to, to finish the next recording. And I think that's it. Uh, that 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 is all 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 that's needed to to compose mm-hmm. to compose and record, and that's what that's what I like. Mm-hmm. This year, or maybe next year. I don't know. Uh, oh. I I have I have. Well, I have three songs done, mm-hmm. which takes about 25 minutes, so they are a bit longer. And but I have plenty of more ideas, and I really don't know how to mm-hmm. or, or when to when to you know, to finish them. It's it perhaps is it's gonna be a long longer process. Perhaps I will I will finish it, it uh, sooner. I I really don't know now. Now mm-hmm. I have 25 minutes done. So that's for sure. Um, the Hungarian black metal scene seems to get bigger and bigger. What would you say about it since you are a part of it? Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'm still a part of it because when we started, it was okay. Something like black metal with some keyboards and drum machine. It was. It was not a traditional black metal, even at the beginning. And now it's you. You cannot really say that. It is black metal. It has some black metal elements, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't think that I should be I should be counted as a you know as part part of the Hungarian black metal scene. Uh, but uh, well, I like some bands, and I think I think that there are some really talented and atmospheric uh, good good black metal bands, but not not too many. Mm-hmm. Not too many. Do you have <clears throat> do you have any last words for the listeners of Atmosphere Entertainment? Uh, well, well, pardon, pardon me. Um, do you have any last words? Last words. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for the for the interview, and I'm really grateful that you're interested in me and in Dykala Folk. And well, uh, well, take care. Okay. <laughs>